All right, guys, last video with this wig on, darlings. Now, guys, it's funny because I was watching Ben Affleck talk about how before he was famous, no one ever asked him out. And then all of a sudden now he's got like two of the leading ladies in Hollywood begging to go out with him and marry him. And he's got all these, I'm sure he's got tons of women that want to go out with him, right? And maybe men too, right? So he's got all these people, right? And he said, you know, before he went to Hollywood, nobody gave him att any attention. He was, he, and obviously he's dropped it gorgeous, right? It's funny. You go about your day, people, people will judge and say things, right? So when you're going about your day, people will say, oh, you know, um, that person's not good looking or they don't have enough money or, or did you see that their transaction at the till was not, didn't go through, they're too old, they're too, they're too horrible, I don't like them, they're not going to feed my family, maybe they're not good with kids, maybe this, maybe that, it depends on who you are, but they'll say all these things, right, and people will just quickly jump the gun and quickly assume, oh, all this stuff, right, they'll say, oh, you know, he's poor, he's, he could be thinner, um, he's not muscular, he's not, I, I'm Marco normally, He's not muscular, he's not, he's not, um, you know, all this stuff, right, they downplay you, and people will do this constantly, they, instead of being like, oh, you know, he is a good catch, I should ask him out, or they, or people will, and this maybe has to do with more with anxiety, or maybe nervousness, or maybe not the right person, right, but you just think to yourself, most of the time it's not the right person, right, so you just think to yourself, and then Ben Affleck's was saying, it just changed when he was famous. He just got all this attention and people wanted to go out with him and he didn't have any, like he was able to have people just ask him out immediately without even, without even questioning it, right? It's like, and that's the sad truth. A lot of people that are really good catches are missed out on because maybe they're not famous. Maybe they don't have a fancy car. Maybe they live in a certain house. Maybe they have, you know, um, Maybe they didn't finish school. Maybe, maybe they, um, maybe they do, um, I don't know, anything, right? Like, people will constantly pick on people and it's like, why do you have to be famous with tons of money, a big fancy house, a nice set of cars? Why? Like, why does it have to be that way? But people are just very picky. And a lot of people will be picky even if they don't bring anything to the table, right? So people will be like, oh, he doesn't have a fancy car, yet they're poor and they don't have anything, right? So it's like, you know, people will, and, and the funny thing is, Ben Affleck was saying, he got like tons of attention when he got famous. It was like everybody and their dog was asking him out. And before that, nobody cared. And it was like night and day, right? So you just think to yourself, da, 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 da. maybe you're in the same boat, right? For me, I have my wife, I do get dates, I do date people, other than my wife, I'm in an open marriage, men and women, I do date people, but it's not like I have like people rushing to get to me or people like in dire need to have me marry them or anything like that, even I'm married, but I'm in an open relationship, so I want to date other people. So people won't come up to me, people won't say anything, people just constantly say, oh, you know, whatever, even if they say out of your league, out of your league, they're not trying to ask, right? So you just think to yourself, darling, darling, darling. You know what I mean, guys? And you just think to yourself, why is it that somebody has to be... Like, you see those gold digger videos too, right? The gold digger videos. And they're just like, the person is very much like... The person wasn't interested. They're basically dissing them. Totally not interested at all. Even though they're the perfect cats. They have good looks. They're super smart. Even maybe, maybe maybe if you assume they have no money, they're super smart, they have good looks, they're articulate, they're flirty, they're kind, yet all of a sudden the gold digger girl is like, oh, you have this fancy car. I love those gold digger videos. And you just think to yourself, well, if you weren't interested when you thought you didn't have the fancy car, why are you suddenly interested, right? It's just, you know, you just think to yourself, like, why would you be that way, right? And I mean, I understand, you know, I want someone that is rich, I want someone that brings hard work to the table, I want someone that does well, 
I want someone with a career. I want someone with all this stuff. And so I understand you might be like, well, the same boat. doesn't matter who you are. You shouldn't have to lower your standard just because maybe you don't have all these things, right? I mean, some people go out with someone that's really rich, even though they have absolutely nothing, and then they're rich by default, right? So it's not like it's a really bad decision to make. You know, it's just not really that, that um, you know, you could be anyone and date anyone. But I just feel like, you know, people are too hard on people and they just criticize and they don't know what else to do. And it's, it's more to do with not the right fit, right? If someone's criticizing you or saying something negative, they're obviously not going to go out with you. Even if they like you, they're not going to ask. You know, why would you go out with someone that's going to criticize you on the first day you meet them, right? You have to go out with someone that's going to compliment you. When you walk in a room, they're like literally smiling and so excited, you know? Anyway, guys, totally enjoy by now.